Hi everyone, welcome to the W is Cube Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Josh the Laravel Admin Template Plus Front End Plus CRUD system. First, we will take a look at a demo of this script on the official Code Canyon website. After that, we will proceed to install the script on a local host. Then I will guide you through the process of compiling the script with Visual Studio Code. I will also demonstrate how you can make changes to the script and finally, serve it on a server. By the end of this tutorial, I will provide you with the complete source code of this project, so that you can practice and benefit from it. Please note that the source code will be password protected. The password will be revealed in two parts throughout this video. My humble request is to watch the video in its entirety to catch the password. So, without any further delay, let's get started. So now, we are on the official Code Canyon website. And here, you can see there are five types of demos available. The first one is for the admin panel, and the next is for the front end. First, let's take a look at the front end. You can see the beautiful front end template, which you can use with any website, for any niche, and for any purpose. The template is responsive and flexible, making it suitable for use with any project. So now, we will take a look at the admin panel, which is the most important aspect to consider. This is a beautiful admin panel, meticulously designed with an array of pre-built template contents, tables, and various other features all of which are indispensable for any robust admin interface. What's more, these components aren't just limited to the back end. They're also adaptable for use in the front end, ensuring seamless integration across your entire project. Now, as we delve deeper into the functionality, we're about to embark on a demonstration of generating a CRUD. This step will exemplify the remarkable simplicity and efficiency of this system illustrating how effortlessly you can manage your database operations with just a few clicks. So, let's dive right in and witness firsthand the power and convenience of this feature. Now, as we proceed to set up the CRUD functionality, we will include all the essential elements needed for a Laravel CRUD operation. This includes defining the model name, setting up routes, and specifying the fields that will generate along with their respective validations and data types. By meticulously configuring these components, we'll ensure that our CRUD system operates seamlessly, maintaining data integrity and security throughout the process. So let's dive into the setup process and witness how effortlessly we can streamline our database operations within the Laravel framework. With the CRUD successfully generated, it's time to put it to the test. We'll now initiate a series of tests to ensure that our CRUD system operates flawlessly, allowing us to perform create, read, update, and delete operations seamlessly. By rigorously testing each functionality, we'll verify the robustness and reliability of our CRUD system, ensuring that it meets the highest standards of performance and functionality. So, let's dive in and put our CRUD system through its paces.
Now that we've concluded the demo, let's move on to Visual Studio Code, VS Code, to compile the project. In VS Code, we'll begin by configuring the database settings and making any necessary adjustments to the project. By adding the database configuration, we'll ensure seamless connectivity with our database, facilitating efficient data management within our Laravel project. Additionally, we'll make any required modifications to enhance the project's functionality and performance. So, let's transition to VS Code and take the next steps to compile the project, ensuring that it's optimized for smooth operation. Before proceeding to log in as either an admin or a user, it's essential to seed and migrate the database. We'll accomplish this by running the command php artisan migrate seed. Executing this command will initiate the migration process, ensuring that our database schema is synchronized with the Laravel project. Additionally, it will seed the database with predefined data, providing us with a functional data set to work with during testing and development. So, let's execute the migration and seeding command to prepare our database for login authentication and further exploration of our project functionalities. With successful installation and login, we've paved the way for seamless CRUD system generation and utilization. I trust you found this tutorial helpful and insightful. If you enjoyed this video and found value in it, I encourage you to share it with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials and updates. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, the link to the complete free source code is provided in the description below. Feel free to download it, keep coding, and make the most out of it. Happy coding, and may you reap the benefits of your hard work.